Oh, anybody hungry? Uh, oh. What do we got? You name it. What's that, chicken? Something like that. Tastes the mm -hmm. same, anyway. <laughs> got any ham? Ham, 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 ham. Oh, yeah, there. Good. Uh, they look pretty good. Well, they're getting better at it all the time. <laughs> You know, that was an excellent speech you gave us, Haywood. It certainly was. I'm sure it beefed up morale a hell of a lot. Thanks, Ralph. Oh, by the way, I wanted to say to both of you, I think you've done a wonderful job. I appreciate the way you've handled this thing. Well, the way we look at it, it's our job to do this thing the way you want it done. We're only too happy to be able to oblige you. Have you seen these yet? What are they? Yeah, have a look at them. Here's what started the whole thing. Well. When we first found it, we thought it might be an outcrop of magnetic rock. But all the geological evidence was against it. And not even a big nickel iron meteorite could produce a field as intense as this. So we decided to have a look. We thought it might be the upper part of some buried structure, so we excavated out on all sides. But unfortunately, we didn't find anything else. And what's more, the evidence seems pretty conclusive that it hasn't been covered up by natural erosion or other forces. It seems to have been deliberately buried. Deliberately buried. <laughs> well, how about a little coffee? Oh, oh great. Good idea. Mm. I don't suppose you have any idea what the damn thing is, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Wish the hell we did. <laughs> no, the only thing we're sure of is it was buried four million years ago. Well, I must oh. say, you guys have certainly come up with something. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's just now it's hot.